Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber. Today we are doing some DIY Christmas farmhouse signs and I was kind of looking around my house and I felt like I needed some more fillers, I guess, if you will, of all different sizes and also things that I can use for next year um, because it is a larger space that we added to the basement and I felt like I just didn't have like an abundance of stuff like I normally do when I only had the one floor to decorate for. So we are going to be making some signs and I'm also going to be making a lantern, a winter, lan winter lantern. And uh, I know this has been done several times but hopefully I can put my own little spin on things and see what we can come up with. So let's get started. So the majority of the things that I'm going to be using here today are things that I had around my house, things from the Dollar Tree. I believe one item came from Walmart and my local Goodwill. So this little box here is a container, I guess, that held a ch children's toys. So they were like magnet dolls and a lot of them were just old and destroyed and I just threw those away and I was like, well, I'm going to use the box for a frame. So I removed those center divider pieces and then I'm just using the Waverly uh, wax paint and antique and just using that kind of as a stain to make my frame. I'm also going to be using some letters and some beads and then what better way to make a farmhouse sign <laughs> or an easy way than to use bags and that way you can get two pictures with one bag and you can get these, use them in your house, whatever you like, but I'm just cutting one side here and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the other side and I'm going to use that as my picture which it's absolutely beautiful. I did get this bag at Walmart and I believe it was like a, it was a little over a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty nine or something like that. But where the holes are, I'm just using some scrap and filling in those holes where the handles were. I'm going to use some glue and that way my picture is nice and tacked onto the wood. Okay, so I have some of this nautical rope from our decorative rope from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to go around the inside edges just to kind of hide any flaws and where the bag was cut or any gaps that there were from the bag to the backboard of this uh, frame. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I wanted my letters to kind of dangle or hang a little bit. So I'm using J-O-Y and I'm just going to attach a little rope to the back. That way I can thread my rope to go through the beads and the letters and you'll see when I'm going to be doing that. But I thought the red would really stand out so I'm just going to use some of this red paint that I had. I'm not sure what brand it is. I believe it's just from the Dollar Tree and just color my letters from red and that way they will really stand out when I attach it to the sign. These letters came from Joann's. I get a lot of um, comments on them. It was a box of, I can't even remember how many is in there. They were a gift from my brother-in-law and I use them all the time for my projects. That little wreath came from Dollar General. It was a pack of three and I just used them in a lot of my crafting, but I just covered the wreath that was already on the truck just to give it a more 3D effect. And now I'm just gonna string some beads and my letters on this rope so I can attach it to the top of my sign. And then I just had this little pine and pine cone um, embellishment kind of thing that I also got at Dollar General and I just attached that to just to add a little extra touch to the sign. And I absolutely love how this turned out. I think it's just absolutely darling and only for like 
two dollars so um, quite a steal these next ones again going to use the same bag system and use some frames that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar I got two of them and one I kept the same black the other one I painted green which you will see here in a bit and then I'm just using my Artisa tools to go around the glass frame so I have the exact measurement for uh, the picture that I'm going to be or the frame that I'm going to be using and this is such an easy thing to do just if you are needing signs or whatever like I was just as a filler I mean seriously it looks like you could buy that in the store and I mean it's just so simple to do just cut a bag and put it in a frame and you have a beautiful piece of artwork and this frame I just painted some hunter green and then I'm just laying down my picture in there and we are good to go with another sign Okay, the next uh, picture that I'm going to use are these little frames that came from the Goodwill. I got two packs of them, two in each, and this little dish towel came from the Dollar Tree, and I really loved the print on it. I kept debating on what I was going to do with it, and I was like, another sign. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut around it using my Artisa uh, equipment again, or my Artisa I don't even know what that is. It's like an, a knife and I'm going to cut that out so I can make another picture. And this is seriously so easy. All I did was use my hot glue gun and kind of work my way down, making sure the fabric was nice and stretched um, so I did not have any wrinkles in it. And seriously, so easy. but always at the Goodwill look in your picture or your frame um, section. They always have really cool frames there and or empty ones like this at my local Goodwill. So, and I'm just gonna add a little, little touch here. It's a burlap bow with a little bit of pine cones on it to add to the top of my frame, just to add a little bit extra to it. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to be working on is this little frame that I got at the Dollar Tree. I just took all these stuff out of it um, that it came with, like the string and the little hooks. And then this little burlap, or not burlap, I'm sorry, the Buffalo Check little bag came from Dollar General. There was two in a pack for a dollar. So I just kind of undid the um, thread that was through it so I have a nice big space to um, lay down and make sure everything was nice and smooth on the backboard that came with the frame and I'm just going to cut it out now as you see there I tried to use the hot glue gun did not work on this fabric so <laughs> I decided to use the um, Aileen's glue again from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue some more letters on there that say joy and just attach it right to the fabric and I love that natural wood up against the buffalo check for this sign. So I just wanted to double check to make sure that everything fit in there nice and good. So next I'm going to kind of do the same thing as I did with the first picture and just thread some beads and attach those to the top of the sign too just to give it a little extra to the picture. glue that string to the back so you don't see all the frayed edges for the where I cut it and that way it will hang a lot better and stay nice so you can secure it in the frame and my little metal things because this is a Dollar Tree frame it's not the best quality um, the little metal things that hold the picture in place kind of fell out so I just used hot glue to go around the edges of that and that is how that sign turned out just super simple and so cute 
So the next project we're going to work on is this lantern. And again, I've seen this a million and one times. I'm just using four pictures from the Dollar Tree, or frames, I'm sorry, and then this canvas that is also from the Dollar Tree and also these snowflake ornaments also from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to remove those little hooks that keep the back on the frame, take out the glass, and then I'm going to kind of glue them all together, which you will see here in a minute, to kind of create my stand for the lantern. Okay, so next I'm just going to use the knife to cut out the canvas so I can make myself a base. Um, and this seriously was so easy to do. Um, like, <laughs> I think it took me maybe 10 minutes besides the uh, painting of the frame, which you will see here um, in a second. Um, that pretty much was the longest part of this entire project, but so easy. I went out and I did spray paint this this copper color and it's so pretty. I love this color and I painted it all, the base and everything. And now I'm just going to attach these little snowflake ornaments and that way I can kind of have a side to anything that I needed to put in there, which you will see here in a minute. So uh, the first one was kind of hard to get in there because I didn't know exactly where I wanted to glue it down. but. The rest went rather nicely, so, um, but I just love how um, the little snowflakes gave this really awesome effect to the sides of these uh, lanterns. So a much easier way, I just put glue on the little corners and then put them inside um, and it was much easier to do it this way. But I just absolutely love this winter DIY. So easy and so fun. And it turned out just absolutely darling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!